for everyone who gets to watch this video, who has regular access to the internet, for you, I believe it's important to create content consistently. And in this video, I'm going to give you 10 reasons why it's important. And I want you to listen to each reasons and I invite you to write down which one resonates with you. In fact, I'd love to know if you want to comment below which reason resonates most for you. So the number, so these reasons are in no particular order. Um, so the first one I'll share with you is it's important to create content for you to clarify your message and your style. Okay. Some people think I've got to uh, figure myself out. I've got to figure out my message before I can then share my content, before I can write articles, do videos, etc. But what I have discovered over seven years of creating content is that the process of creating content is actually a proven way to explore and, and to practice your real voice, whatever that is. And that's, again, through discovery, through the process of content creation, it comes out. Um, and when I say your real voice, I don't necessarily mean your physical voice. It could mean that, but it's also your, your inner voice. Um, for some people, actually, they even, they even experience that when they create content, um, they channel a higher voice through them. Um, they uh, sometimes go back, and I've experienced this occasionally, I go back and go, wow, I didn't know I could, could write that, or I didn't know I could say that in that way. Uh, and so, in, in, this, in essence, reason number one is you practice allowing your genius to come through when you create content consistently. So as an example, last year I, I started, I embarked on this project to make a hundred videos. And this is, this is more videos than I would have made in the past five years, in a single year. And by doing these hundred videos, I got so practiced at allowing my authentic style and my higher voice, uh, my, my smartest ideas to come through in a, more, in a more flow type of fashion. So that's reason number one. Um, is to is to clarify your message and your authentic voice. The other the other thing, actually, part of clarifying your message is that it's really um, it's really good for your clients to do so. And actually, I would say that that's the um, the second reason for for creating content is to organize your knowledge to benefit your clients. So if you already have been helping clients, maybe you you're good at helping your clients. But have you organized your ideas and your modalities and your processes in a concisely recorded way that your clients can keep going back to it to benefit from it? Okay? Uh, and even those who are not your clients can benefit from it and maybe one day become your clients. Right? So um, this is especially useful if you find yourself saying the same thing to different clients. You know, you explain the same idea or you teach the same process. Well, what if you recorded that down into a video or wrote, wrote an article so that instead of having to say the same thing over and over again, you can share that piece of content with your clients. And then when they come and work with you, you can then work with them to customize that idea specifically for them, for their life, for their style. However, it's in other words, you can do deeper work with your clients instead of having to keep regurgitating the same thing. So that's reason number two, is to organize your knowledge base uh, so that you can do deeper work for your clients. The third reason is to, when you create content consistently, you get smarter and you get more effective in your field. Last year when I made 100 videos, most of them were about business and about marketing, I felt like I got smarter and got better ideas about business and marketing than I had in the past five years. That's the power of committing to consistent content creation. So getting smarter and more effective in your field. The next reason is that creating content consistently allows the search engines like Google to pick up your ideas and, and to share them with the world so that your prospective clients can find you and also the, the, the people who could refer you to many prospective clients, they can then more easily find you through, through the search engines online. 
Uh, this is especially if you put your content out in a way that the search engines can index. So blogging on your website or putting it on social media sites like medium.com or even linkedin.com um, will allow, or, and YouTube as well, will allow the search engines like Google to pick it up much more easily. The next reason to create content consistently is to build trust and credibility with the people who do find you. Okay, so when someone first comes across you, comes across your website, they might think you're pretty impressive or they might think, wow, this is pretty, uh, this, this person might be right to serve me, to help me, to teach me. But if you don't have any content, how will they really get to know you and trust you enough to contact you about something for, further? Do you want every single person who comes across you to, to call you, to email you? It would be too much to do, right? And so by using content, by sharing it generously, you filter out the people who are not meant for you. You filter in and build trust with the people who are meant for you. Okay, so that's an important reason for, for, for creating content consistently. And the more consistent and abundant your content is, the easier it is for people to build their trust and credibility with you because there's so much they can choose from to, to receive. Um, now, there is a balance between quantity and quality. So I can talk about that in a future video if there's, if there's interest. The next reason for creating content consistently is that you get to engage with your audience. And as a result, you get to better understand them. And marketing is so much about continually getting to better understand your audience. And the only reason, the only way to, to, to be able to get better understand them is to engage with them, is to see what they really like from what you're sharing. Notice of all the content you're sharing, which ones are getting the most positive comments, which ones are getting the most shares, okay, what questions are coming through that you can then create additional content to answer. So without content, how can you engage with your audience unless you do it one-to-one? -one? And you may be doing some of that, and that's a really good thing. But in creating content allows you to engage with many people all at once to get the questions in, you know, in one place um, and to be able to understand them in aggregate. It's easier to recognize the patterns of who your audience are when you can see many of them at once, right? Okay, um, next reason for creating content consistently is to be top of mind for your prospective clients and for your referral sources. So when they follow you on social media, so if they follow you, your postings on LinkedIn or on Facebook or, or on Twitter or on YouTube or other places, medium.com, um, if they don't ever see you, then they're going to be thinking about other people that they're following, other content they're reading. But if they see you on an occasional basis, oh, same thing with email newsletters. If they never see an email newsletter from you, how are they going to remember you? How will they remember you when they need you, when they need to hire you? Or how will they remember you when they have someone, a friend of their colleagues who can really use your service, right? So to be top of mind is a great reason to create content consistently. Uh, another great reason is to lead your ideal prospective clients to the next step of working with you. So if you imagine your ideal client, they're on a journey with you. They first discover you, and then you need to lead them towards being able to trust you. But they, they kind of get to sense your expertise through your content. And then what's the next step after that? Okay, the next step is to understand your content even more, or to understand your story even more, to understand your framework even more. And then eventually you can invite them into working with you. And content is, is a great way to invite people to work with you. So you might, for example, share a very valuable article or share a video like this. And at the end, you could say, hey, if you're looking for more customized help, if you're looking for deeper experience of what I've been just talking about, or for me to work with you directly, you know, contact me, etc. So content is a great way to ease into that invitation. Okay. And the next reason, very important reason for sharing content consistently is that it is a great way to generously serve the world. Um, the truth is that when you share content out there, it's not that everybody who consumes your content, who reads your article, who sees your video, or, or however you share content, it's not that everyone will then become your client. That's, I, I encourage you to think of it as you're sharing it out there to try to help as many people as you can. And then some of them, the more people you help, in fact, okay, if you only helped 10 people with your content, okay, maybe one of them might decide to work with you as a client. 
if you helped 100 people with your content, okay, maybe 7 to 10, instead of 1, it's now 7 to 10 who will want to work with you. If you helped 1,000 people with your content, right, now it's more like maybe 50 to 100 may want to work with you. But, but, I, but I've already talked about that, these, these reasons for, for prospective clients finding. I want you to now think about all the, all the hundreds of people who are helped by you whom you didn't even know. And there, I really believe in the, in the idea of karma, okay? What comes around goes around. If you serve all these people, eventually all that benefit will accrue to you, either, whether in this life or more likely in future lives. Uh, it's kind of like when you put money into the account, the longer you're willing to wait, the greater the interest builds and the more benefit you have. But regardless of the benefit, if you do this from a, from a pure from a heart of giving, you will receive those emotional benefits now to say, wow, I can only imagine how many people are being helped by this, right? And finally, a great way to create content consistently is to find your calling. From all these reasons I've listed above, you will discover more and more what you are meant to do when you share content consistently. Try it and I, I believe you'll, you'll see that to be true. So which one of these reasons most inspires you? I'd love to know and I hope that this inspires you to create content consistently and share share all that you've got out there it's it can only benefit you